Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about Russia's newest hypersonic missile, Kinzhal. On August 10th, the Aviadarts 2019 International Competition, as part of the International Army Games 2019, took place at the Dubrovnik Testing Range at the Ryazan region, Russia. In particular, the Kinzhal air-launched hypersonic missile debuted at the competition. Russian MiG-31K interceptors armed with Kinzhal took part in an air show for the first time. A number of MiG-31 heavy interceptors have been already modified in order to carry the weapon. Before watching this video, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss for the next videos. The KH-47M2 Kinzhal is a Russian nuclear-capable air-launched ballistic missile or ALBM. It has a claimed range of more than 2,000 kilometers, Mach 10 speed, and an ability to perform evasive maneuvers at every stage of its flight. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, and can be launched from Tu-22M3 bombers or MiG-31K interceptors. It has been deployed at air bases in Russia's southern military district. The Kinzhal entered service in December 2017 and is one of the six new Russian strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 1, 2018. The missile is designed to target U.S. and NATO warships, posing a threat to strategic missile systems in Russia's European part, and to destroy NATO missile defense system and ballistic missile defense ships and land objects close to Russian borders such as one in Romania. It is allegedly designed to overcome any known or planned U.S. air or missile defense systems, including MIM-104 Patriot, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, and Aegis Combat Systems. The missile's first stage is probably shared with the 9K720 Iskander, and the guidance section is specifically designed for this missile. It is capable of attacking fixed and movable targets such as aircraft carriers. The missile accelerates to hypersonic speed within seconds of launch and performs maneuvers at all stages of the flight trajectory to evade enemy missile defenses. Now let's take a look at the capabilities of the Kinzhal system and results of its testing. The Kinzhal was first tested using a MiG-31B in the Southern Military District MD in March 2018. The weapon first entered service in that MD in May 2018, equipping 10 MiG-31Ks. In addition to the hypersonic capability of this ALBM, the Kinzhal flies at the stratosphere boundary to minimize air resistance and is specially designed to evade enemy air defenses and offer improved high-precision targeting. It can be launched from Tu-22M3 bombers or MiG-31K interceptors. Its overall weight and characteristics of the air-launched ballistic missile compelled the Defense Ministry to specially modernize the existing MiG-31B to the MiG-31K. The newer model of this interceptor received new onboard equipment, increased fuel supply and communications equipment to facilitate the receipt of target destination data. These changes forced Russia's aerospace forces to redevelop the methodology for the combat use of the MiG-31K and to retrain its pilots. The MiG-31K accelerates to Mach 2.3 to provide the Kinzhal with the necessary launch speed to then accelerate to Mach 10. With its 2,000-kilometer range, the Kinzhal avoids requiring the MiG-31K to enter the coverage area of enemy air defenses. After extensive testing, the missile is currently operational on the MiG-31 fighter at an experimental phase to some extent. But further advancement is underway to expand Russia's use of strategic bombers and stealth fighters. So what are the consequences for the Western security community? Putin's efforts to develop next-generation strategic weapons have raised concerns about an arms race among China, the US, and Russia. The latest treaty which aims to reduce and limit the U.S. and Russian nuclear weapons, the New START Treaty NST, will expire on February 2021. Unless Russia and the U.S. are to reach a deal before February 2021, NST will collapse to have further and broader repercussions. Russia is in the process of developing missiles which will not fall under prescribed limits of the treaty. In this regard, heavy bombers equipped for nuclear armaments have been clearly defined in NST as one of the strategic delivery vehicles subject to limits. 
General John Hyten, commander of U.S. Strategic Command, during his testimony before the Senate Armed Services Committee on February 2019, has expressed his worries about new Russian nuclear delivery systems, namely the Poseidon underwater drone, the Buravestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, Kinzhal air-launched ballistic missile, and the Zircon hypersonic cruise missile. All those fall beyond the coverage of NST. Russia is trying to prevail over the U.S. and the West technologically and militarily through its weapons program. It primarily focuses on hypersonic speed and deems this technology has the potential to undermine Western air defense architecture and pose a significant threat to Western security. Russia and China have overcome technological barriers. Other European nations, i.e. Germany and France, seem encouraged to repeat the same example. As the next-generation strategic hypersonic weapons are increasingly affecting modern warfare, more and more nations will probably monitor advanced military capabilities to include in their arsenals in the coming future. It can be concluded that the KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missile is an invaluable asset for Russia's aerospace forces, providing high-precision strike and nuclear options. The refitted MiG-31K has been modernized to suit the new ALBM. The hypersonic Kinzhal ALBM fits a pattern of concerted state investments in high-precision systems to offer scope and depth to the non-nuclear elements in Russia's deterrence strategy. Thanks for watching Military TV and see you in the next videos.